Uh, oh, yeah. Wish I would stop doing that. More midday kabuffery. Oh, drinky, drinky. Uh, make something big and sharp here. Seasons change. Point out. Pointy. Stupid sharp metal. I saw you. You were on there. My little person window doesn't lie. Somebody was watching. Mm, some left in here. That's a neat little thing. Yeah, it looks like from the other side. It actually flexes up and down. I wonder if it's some kind of gasket. Oh, it comes apart. Ow. Pointy. I wondered how these work. <laughs> Very true, Mr. Pete. Mm. Mm. Suck the juice out of it. Mm. Mm, addiction. I was always curious how these things work, and they literally just go right through the top of a regular can hole. That's kind of cool. I'm not sure what kind of purpose they'll serve any further than this. There's a thing here. What the dink? It's got a dink. I broke the dink. Oh, wait. No, that would be the air dink. So. You got a unicorn, clown clops. Doesn't have enough home fun to, I would say, hold any pressure. Backside's interesting. Oh well, <clears throat> we got no use for you. Go away. Ole. Need a paper towel. Mr. Wolfpack, Homely, and Mr. Scar, Mr. Pete. Ah. Ah, sons of bitches. Pointy sons of bitches. How did I do this last time? Oh, yeah, I remember. Spoiny. Okay. Now, since I was an idiot and took my scissors upstairs, we get to do this all with a razor blade. Uh, armature still ain't long enough. Story of my damn life. So, you guys get to watch me. I wish I had my jewelers to loop. Shiny little bit is hard to see straight. You gotta get it as straight as possible because I can always come back and correct it. 
yeah, I don't want to cut all the way through either while doing this. Just enough to score it. No, nah, well, yeah. I thought about that because it's got that big bird on the outside. It'd be really cool. But I figured I got bored. My buddy bought me a monster this morning because uh, I ain't been sleeping too well with the whole, you know, bad triple bypass, new heart parts from a pig thing. I figured uh, I'd dig something useful out of the can. Why not? I mean, I got two Hulk Hogan ones, energy drink from Hulk Hogia sitting upstairs from the 80s and both those cans are in pretty good shape the longer they sit around the more likely to be screwed up i want to get them down here so i can do this to those because i want to make two hulk hoagie ones that horrid energy drink that stuff is awful oh if i had a small one of these i could actually make some neat little things with them but i don't have a small one they got one of those big ass cans You don't need to get really close. You just need to get mostly through. You said it's a little easier to rough it out with a pair of scissors. Mm -hmm. And the heater's burning a hole in my leg. Even though I got it on that passing fan mode. Well, it's going to be a fun part back here, ain't it? Oh, boy. Let's get this curvature put away. I think I might do one with that, too. Because no, oh, my phone's making beepy noises. Stop making boing noises. <laughs> Gustav's kid lost a tip. Lost two tough. And now she's uh, one right on top of the other, so it's like it's like this. She's missing these two out her face. So she's got a big old gap right there on them. Cute. That's <laughs> where you put the chocolate milk through. Mr. Josh, shouldn't you be in school, Mr. Josh? Just because you're 18, you think you got your old dander up there and now you don't go to school no more? Oh boy. Mr. Josh. Mr. Oh, it might be another one of those less than entertaining videos again. It just goes on because I don't feel like turning off the stream. Oh, you're homeschooled. Oh, boy. Okay, so uh, that's a good one there. <laughs> you do realize by saying so, you opened yourself up to all kinds of fun and ridicule. I mean, that's what a... Uh, that's what we used to do to homeschool kids. I don't think much has changed because uh, kids are still asses. <laughs> well, if they follow you, Ed, all you have to do is turn around and lick a doorknob. I mean, nobody's going to pull that doorknob open if it's covered in lick, let alone sick lick. <laughs> I used to threaten people by telling them I'm going to lick their doorknobs. <laughs> I'm about to just start licking the doorknobs, but then again, that's Jason. He's kind of a sick kid. I think he'd be homeschooled and not homeschooled. Cameron Johnson. No, oh, Mr. Cameron Johnson. Easy Rider. Hello, RZ Rider. Every time I hear your name, I'll hear I'm rolling with my homies. Wide and nerdy. Wide and nerdy. I just saved money on my auto insurance. You can't possibly get more sick if you're already sick. You're already sick. You're licking doorknobs, you're already sick. I mean, sick, healthy, mentally healthy people don't lick doorknobs. Actually, mentally healthy people probably wouldn't suggest licking doorknobs either at that point. But, hey, whatever. <laughs> it's a doorknob. Might as well lick it. Mr. Boomtendo. Mr. Boomtendo. Mr. Boomtendo. 
with Chrono Mag integration right now. And I had lead and a bunch of cool shiz. Yep. I haven't gotten into lead yet. LEDs or has them. For State Comic Con. Harrisburg does one every year, and I have yet to go to it. My buddy keeps going there as a slate. Up till about a year ago or so, he was doing a using the mask I made him out of an Iron Man mask. But he got a much better one. It doesn't look all homemade. Can't say I'm a little upset that he got a better one, but I do like that mask. That thing is cool. Makes the costume go up a lot nicer too. Mike does Gundam stuff. That's a Blade Wolf, Blade Wolf Prime on Instagram. You see me tout his stuff up there. My buddy Mike from back in the before time when I worked at the bad place. <laughs> oh, how about that? Well, they're, I guess they're kind of close. Probably ran by the same dudes. Garn Uncle. Oh, Garn Uncle. Miles can pronunciate. Mm -hmm. I tried once doing this with a. No, I'm not making projects again. I once tried doing this with a Dremel tool. I wouldn't recommend it. I mean, the sandy grindy bit worked okay, but when this thing slips out of your fingers going 300 rp, 300,000 rpms. Uh, and it catches, it turns into the spinning little razor of death. <sighs> Not that unlike uh, some kind of booby trap from an Enterprise show. Just spinning, spinning, spinning. Doom, doom, doom. Oh, it's going to be another patch. I'm making the patch. Making one of the metal patches. Another trademark secret. Metal patches. One of the boys in the uh, thing in the NOS patch I made decided, uh, he said, uh, that if they made a monster one, they might be interested. Well, I give the people what I want so I can get what I want, which is money. <laughs> that and these are fun to make. I got to stop by Tandy Leather, though, because this is literally like all the leather bit I got left for those. And I got like, that's actually decent suede leather too it's just not a I don't remember how it came in a kit see that's a, that's a kind of part that ruins your fingerprints I don't have any of those I, uh, I don't have any of those I do have a bunch of uh, military patches that were left here but some of them are uh, like division patches and things, so I won't be. I, I don't sport those because I wasn't part of the division and stuff like that. And I'm MIA and MIA and things like that, or I don't have any problem with those. And my buddy taught me the term for it. I think it, they've got been termed stolen vow, or, or people like to wear patches and things that they didn't earn. Uh, but it's not under the guise of wearing them to wear them. It's under the guise of wearing them to go get things like free drinks and women and claiming a bunch of crap. After like I was in Da Nang when you were in, you know, in, in, in the, even in the building, people making up stuff, which I think is, I got actually, I know a guy that does that, and I find it, uh, I find it the distasteful to say the best about it <laughs> unfortunately is about the nicest thing I can say about him I want my body armor set that says innocent by standards I think they had a well no that's a bad joke no, no. don't say that joke that's called getting older and smarter <laughs> About doing a mod couple mag strikes and building them to copy a Villa of Persos. I, I don't know what Mr. Johnson, I don't know what a Viler Persoa is. Sounds like something good. Anything you want to do to a mag strike though to make it 
pop off and scare the hell out of people. Yeah, I don't think I need, I don't need to know what it is. I just need to know that it's a mag strike. And I, you already get a thumbs up. Those things are brutal. Mag strikes are awesome. The original, uh, what do they call them? Uh, original things that people used to do to CO2 them. It's actually good old Uncle Clowny here might be working on his first. Uh, of peaches. Let me get my files out. Right, gonna probably be working on his first HPA build here as soon as I figure out exactly what is involved other than a nice metal tank of which I, of course, I have one of. Really weird W2 machine gun. It has two barrels, carrel pistol, and no mounted to a trumpet. Okay, well, let's do that. Let's pull up an image here because. Uh, oh. You know, I'm real pro set. Once you come up with something awful. Oh, this thing. I know this thing. Yeah. How about that? I knows that thing. Huh. That actually looks amazingly familiar. Close to something more old than that. There's a better. There's a better image. Look at that. That could be cool. Old grease gun styling. Okay. Look, oh, looks like my wish order shipped. Hooray! Just don't know which one it was. Hmm. Looks like science is involved. Oh, I got so many ton of twenties sitting on my desk right now. So oh, many ton of twenties. One, one Tommy 20, two, two Tommy 20, three, three Tommy 20s, and my dad stolen. He stole it from me, but I stole it from him. <laughs> oh. All right. Brownie uses science. Let's see. Well, I guess that's square enough because see I'm a dumbass and I don't own a square. That ain't good. Hold there. Oh hold the line. Hold the line. Where the hell is that from? Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. I want to get a ton of 20 and put a modern space case in it. Uh, have that completely possible. If you get on the Thingiverse there, they have one. I have a prototype I got from a guy when he was building them. And uh, he took it out and put a bunch of meat shells too is in his and uh, burn up a bunch of children uh, at a war with it. Now, I'm, down to the tournament. I got mine with a, a stock flywheel cage and some more or less homemade flywheels. Uh, I took a, uh, the regular flywheels and I just shut the noise up. And I glued some stuff over top of them and made bigger wheels. It's rough. It takes an hour and a half to get that thing spinning. Of course, last time I tested it, I was using, uh, it's got 180s and a Hellcat, I think 180s or some kind of 180 in it. But I'm not sure. If, oops, oh, we'll move it. I'm not sure as to what that was anymore because it's been so damn long since I played with it. So, but the new one, I got a bunch of them coming. That's per an agreement with somebody else. And I'm going to be getting myself some, turning my, uh, turn them over into some blasters to turn around here because. Tommy 20s are cool. Now, these are the full auto Tommy 20s, the blues and the greens. Oh, we got a link up. Cool. Strafe cage. Valkyrie motor. See, 
My usually grab to go for a lot of those is the uh, barricade. Uh, barricade cages work really well with rival too because they're the spacing on them is pretty good. At least what I've been finding and testing. Oh wait, I can't post URLs. So somebody just did, or you just did, a URL or thing of first thing. I don't, I don't understand computer. Clowny no computer. Clowny no computer. <laughs> Brownie smash. Oh, with the word noises. Oh, I'm going to have to read that. No, I'm not on my mobile. I can see the, the thing up here. It's got a link on it. It's up there somewhere. Might be a delay. It usually is. I'm going to check my phone here quick because this thing's going to keep making noises. There we go. So uh, my parents and my family trying to figure out what the hell, what the hell is to do. Oh, no, you weren't supposed to do that. Backing out. You're supposed to help me move my stuff downstairs, sister. So she had something else to do on Sunday, so they couldn't get together. Brother's doing something on Saturday. Sister's doing something on Sunday. And I'm thinking, oh, they're going to do what they said they were going to do. No, she ain't. She apparently found something else to do. She was supposed to be coming up here and giving me a hand moving all my toys and junk out to the bedroom to go downstairs. So, because my dad goes into surgery this weekend. She was going to throw things off. It looks like she sputtered off on her brain again and decided to go hiking with her boyfriend. Maybe she forgot I was part of that chat. <laughs> Damn, a lot of heavy stuff up there I gotta carry down one way at a time and drag now. He's got the will to do that crap. Uh, well, it's gonna be an all day affair. Probably not though, because I'm gonna have to go up to home. Where is the flat one? Sons of bitches. I'm going to have to go home anyhow. I need to do that. There's always the one left. I'll have to approve the post so everyone else can see it. I'm not going to approve it. Why it's... Report remove timeout hide channel and... I don't see how to, it doesn't tell me to open link, copy, insert, paste, buttholes. Nope. Participants, pop out chat, toggle user, buttons on the side, remove timeout, hide user, channel, add mod. I don't see a button that says approve. Is there an edit on here somewhere? Hey, maybe you can post it there. Is it home link? Is I'm not. Ain't working for me. I ain't seen no button that says fix. Maybe this button must be under the. Yeah, it must be under something I can't figure out. I have to go back over my things and figure out how to figure it out. <laughs> Now, what was I figuring out before I was figuring that out? Why do I need my file? I don't need the file for that. I need the file for this. Okay. Meow. Meow. Funny meow. Oh, how about that sound? Oh, God. Isn't it lovely? Uh... <laughs> Oh, my nuts. Jeez. Uh, how did I do that last time? I'm not grabbing my ears out of my sockets. I didn't. Oh, that's fun. Oh, God. That is just a fun sound. Ow. Prick. Do 
it from the back side. Because I'm finding that to be distracting on the other side. And I can see the. <laughs> it's an awful sound. Jeez. Oh, my arse and moderate. Sometimes I do good. <laughs> <laughs> my last brain cell done. You ain't killed no brain cells yet, Josh. You ain't old enough to come kill your brain cells. You got a finger many more years till you figure out to kill brain cells. It's a finger many more years. <laughs> yeah, I call back to high school math class. Mrs. Lazar did not find that funny. What's the difference? Fingers. <laughs> That's finger many and different, Mrs. Lazar. <laughs> she did not think that was funny. <sighs> Principal thought it was funny. <laughs> of course, you expect that. <laughs> Didn't get written up or anything. You just didn't do that. Was it Zerby? No, it wasn't Zerby. That was the principal. I don't remember what his name was. He used to be a prison guard at a DCP, Dolphin County Prison. Better noise than when we'll come. Mike died Saturday. We got a high pitch. Oh, God. No, I wasn't watching it. I weren't watching it then. I think uh, I tried to watch some Walcom Saturday, but I didn't watch any Walcom Saturday. There weren't no lurking for that. Usually I do a little lurking. I didn't do any lurking. Mm. Why did not watch Saturday? It's something. The, oh yeah, I didn't feel like it. <laughs> now I'm kind of busy with something else. Uh, Saturday, so Saturday would have been been home from the parents' house. That's what probably kept me from doing it. Significantly less noisy to go with the green. I love Walcom's live streams. Oh my god! Especially when he starts losing the video games. That's what started me watching his live stream. That's what cemented me as a fan of his. Watching him rage. Oh, rage. And Maury, rage, rage. Get rage. Uncle Clowney does watch. Uncle Clowney does watch. He's watching a lot. He watches all the time. He has to watch him a distance because of restraining orders, maybe. Creepy, creepy Uncle Clowney. Shouldn't say stuff like that on the internet. The FBI is watching. I don't hear me without my foil. Need the round one. Need the roundy one. I don't know how I ever did anything without these damn things. It's a dumb move, Clowney. You should have bought these years ago. Also, a dumb move about the cheap ones, too. But, well. <laughs> oh, Maury from a. Uh, uh, what is it? Netflix series. Rage, rage, get rage. Screw this, we're gonna do it. Sleep it, you pig. <laughs> Prince of pulling. <laughs> God, big mouth, that's the show, the big mouth show. Ah, uh, you know, you just like me. You like to see him rage. That's what's all. It's all about watching the thing until you want to play a video game so you can see him go all nuts and scream and lose his shit. I mean, <laughs> no skill, zero skill. Ah, uh, they don't nerf any of this stuff. But now, shotgun sniper. That's perfectly sane. <laughs> Makes a lot of good points. One of these days, they have to turn him into a soundboard off of that. My God, that'd be a funny thing to do. Somebody's got to go get and sample his crap for a soundboard here. I bought some micro files the other day. Didn't realize they'd all be size of my thing. Well, they're micro files. They got to be small. What's a part of PSU did you might be there for? I didn't get to meet you at FoamCon last year. Always surrounded by people. Yeah, tell me about it. God, it's setting my freaking brain on fire being around that many people at once. 
I handled it the best I could. Poor Rob. Rob didn't handle it that well. Oh, boy. Yeah. Well, a lot of people didn't handle it that well. A lot of people will be around if you don't like being around people that much. You don't want to not used to be around that many people. Not to say a uh, whole boy uh, didn't handle it horribly. Just say Champ for even showing up, man. That many people. That many people is not to make anybody nuts. Kudos to him for shooting his face out there, showing it off. Especially with that mug. <laughs> uh, hey, self confidence. Oh, that's good for people. Bring those. Um, hold it on. Oh, uh, no, yeah. Um, I, if 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 I get the PSECU, I'll be getting up there for the Sunday thing. I won't be going up for the Saturday of the game because it's too much walking and too much me and too much walking don't go together too well. Ace of speeds. I don't have one. I can't give them a gold star. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Worry about people in the chat are telling them to calm them down. Oh, yeah, that, that's fun. That, 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 that's when you and people start telling them to calm down. You and uh, you and pirates start bringing out the hammer and playing whack-a-mole. <laughs> <laughs> Put their names out on a board. Just bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Time to make a hate crime. <laughs> <laughs> Say FFA convention at three and time out, everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One of these days, I'm waiting for the homely carpet bomb. <laughs> Screen just starts whistling and everybody gets timed out. <laughs> <laughs> this little picture of Pirate Johnson riding it down in. <laughs> I got a damn movie. I forget the name of the movie. The movie the guy rides the bomb all the way down. What the hell? Um, homie, you might know that movie. What the hell was that? You get the cowboy hat and rides the bomb all the way to the bay, all the way down. An old World War II movie, I think it was. I love that movie. Ride the bomb. Uh, Gunk Uncle Gunk RZ, where are we going here? Met you at FOMCON. Uh, was the guy with the dual swarm fire long shot front? Them thing that was dual swarm fire long shot front gun thing. You'd have to send me a picture, Mr. Ryder. Uh, I don't remember things by remembering things, I remember things visually, unless it's a human face, and then I don't remember squat. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Homely says it's the uh, Dr. Strange Love. It said, well, God, I gotta watch that. It's actually up there. That's on my queue to watch. I gotta watch that. It says it's the Xavier Commission. I remember the Xavier Commission. Thing's got wings. It's got the plugins in the wings and stuff. That's what it was. I remember that. We, I met you back by uh, by the Bobo, by the Bobo, by, by the by, by the Bobo. Bobo. My, my, my Bobo and Slug, I think he was. What is wrong with my language today? Jeez. I believe it was one of the Bobo things, but I can't remember. It was a long shot or a stamp it. Oh, I don't know. Probably Bobo was probably a stamp it. Oh, well, no, it'd probably be a long shot. No, I mean, Bobo more likely to stamp it. Wish he'd get that. What if he's ever gonna reveal the picture I've drawn for him? I don't have a picture of it anymore. I gotta dig that up. I gotta find out we get a picture of that. That's funny. First in war the blaster freaking broke and I've been running the front gun. Oh, that's right, that thing came in a bunch of pieces. I remember that. I remember those videos. Oh, see, that's cleaned up pretty good. It's nice and sharp, too. <laughs> yeah, see, that's exactly how it worked. My brain says, oh, look, there's something I remember. Uh, 
Huh. Import. Where's this stuff? Import my butt. Why does it say import? I doubt this stuff is made in other countries. This has got all kinds of toxins. Where's it from? Import from Maine, maybe. I'll drink your pregnant. The kid will kick you in the kidney. Blue cockerin. Cut through the part that I want to read here. Monster energy is glucose, tannerin, ginseng extract, caffeine, curtain, guacamole, and insole. So it tastes like shoe. Where's the Urana? Pretty sure there's supposed to be an M here. Urana extract. I think it's supposed to be marijuana extract. Maltodextrin. Made from all sources. Caffeine from all sources. Like what? What the hell? Consume responsibly, not recommended for children, people's sensibilities to caffeine, pregnant women, or women who are nursing. You get your baby all psyched up like it's on dope. Okay, you gotta be horrible. Just don't tell me where it's made. It's a Coca Cola product, eh? Balls. <laughs> Ball. <laughs> I miss the old energy drinks. Yeah, Sobe. Stuff was good. 100 hour project snap in half. Yeah. I'm not going to make you cry or go hulk out. It's not really meant for five pounds a barrel. <laughs> no. No. Mm. <laughs> Monster energy. I wonder why the Godzilla movies never went up with the Monster Energy logo. I mean, I'd, I'd like to see that. That'd be a good tie-in. Maybe Vin Diesel owns it all. Tastes like Vin Diesel's sweat. To be fair, I really hate Monster. I don't like it. I like it more than... Uh, what, what's they call it? The... Uh, the, the and the rock star with the star stuff. I like it more than that. That, that stuff's worse. This is a, uh, I guess, mildly acceptable. I'm a filthy American. <laughs> Pounds are our currency. Pounds are our currency. Based stuff on stones originally. I think that's why they had them pounds. I don't remember. I'm not a, I'm not an empirist. <laughs> that sounds like such a racist thing to be over a made-up word, ain't it? Balls just label on the mason jars. Just remind you what your balls look like. <laughs> you don't see them for a while. <laughs> I got pictures and we get emails when they go on vacation. I have it on good faith for my feet, but they're still there, which occasionally I get to look at, too. Not much contact with either of them, to be honest. All I got to do is sit wrong, and I know they're there. And they're kind enough to remind me. <laughs> oh, I need the pointy ones. Yep. What I should be doing is working on some blastery stuff and sorting through my stuff. Tomorrow I go pick up a lot, which I didn't really want to do, but I figured, well, you we got no money, might as well spend some more, right? <laughs> That's what I'm doing. It's two long shots in it, long strikes in it. So I hope to turn around and maybe sell them off. And that, I'm excited because the thing's got an SSP. It's that little blaster. And I'm hoping that thing works. It's paying a lot of money for that stupid lot just to get my hands on that little thing. I already have one. 
this bowl rock value is dependent on its mass. Well, see, now we're getting into theological studies about money. <laughs> there I see. Why is there a rock in the church? Nice move, Ed. Beating her right to it. Richard Rock makes for paintball. John, Johnson Rocks either makes for a painless piss. All right. Oh, hell. <laughs> oh, shit. Johnson Rocks. A painful piss. <laughs> My buddy once described when I first heard about him and knew what a kidney stone turned out to be as a religious experience. And I didn't quite understand. I knew what he meant until I had the kidney stone. And then I understood because you are on your knees praying for that to just end. That is. I'm hoping I got my. I'm hoping I got my two times in my life out of my way because it's either two or three. I think it's two that the average guy has kidney stones twice in his life. So on average, I mean, there are people that get them more than more than the average. And I feel for them bastards. Those engine mean things to have. They ain't no funds. That's for sure. Oh, kidney stones are not funny. I don't like them. Last time I got one, though, they gave me morphine. I, mean, if, I don't think it's much of a fair trade to, you know, to, to get morphine if I have to have kidney stones, but I like morphine. <laughs> oh, wang doodle, wang doodle. Wang Doodle. There's a guy that made a lot of money making Wang Doodles. He sold Wang Doodles. Drew portraits of people making Wang Doodles. He doesn't call them Wang Doodles, though. That's the worst part. I mean, if you were drawing pictures with, uh, with the skill of a member, with the membered skill, I mean, how you miss the opportunity to call it a Wang Doodle, he probably takes himself seriously as an artist. I mean, <laughs> funny or even <laughs> what do you do for a living there's a cares there's a dad's proud of his kid <laughs> he just, so he probably used to do it in school and just never outgrew it from kindergarten <laughs> happens you eat too much paste glues your brain cells together and they can't get any bigger and then you start doing wang noodles <laughs> Dwayne Doodle. Okay, now. You gotta get the edges off of this thing. I think I have to fold this. So it's not. It makes you burn all over this. They're sharp as hell. That Mabaha Blast label playing on. Driven it to a leather hat holster to make it look nice like a mod. Put a, when you go to do it, you're going to need to put a backing on it. The first times I tried making these things, uh, luckily I, I tried it, I tried it like an intelligent person before I made the the one with the, uh, the Iron Iron Maiden beer. Because that beer is kind of expensive. And I got smart and tried it first and discovered you need some kind of backing on that. I just literally glue a hunk of leather behind it or a couple pieces of a uh, foam glued up behind it. It'll work out just fine. Just got to give it a little more meat to hold it on there because uh, the aluminum pops through pretty quick. That's why I use the leather. And I have considered just bolting them onto a hat because apparently that's a style too. I should probably do some Mountain Dew ones. That'd be a neat idea. Open up an Etsy store just making this crap. <laughs> Do beer ones and wonder how far you can get. Well, why is your patch forty dollars? Because it's a hundred dollars for the stinking six pack it comes in. Sick butter. Good stuff tastes bad. Craft beer is awful. 
Yeah, use like two layers. Was uh, if you don't use a hunk of leather, it's gonna make an issue. I guarantee it. <laughs> oh, so pointy. I gotta start doing these streams at a reasonable time. These are kind of bad timing for these. Of course, the plan is to do them on every other Wednesday. So, like, not this Wednesday, but other Wednesday. Well, today I decided to do one. Uh, I don't know how long this is going to work up good here. Getting videos and stuff out here. Something tells me I'm probably going to be the kid that doesn't do a lot of showing up and doing stuff, though. There's not going to be a whole hell of a lot I can do. Keep up the house. I won't do a whole hell of a lot when I go up there to begin with as it is. I think about that. Maybe I should be putting my headphones on. How bad does that go out when I mumble? Can you still hear me well enough, or should I be putting my headphones on so y'all can hear me mumble? I don't have to talk louder then. Yep. Great idea. I've never been accused of having too many great ideas. Let's see, I've scratched it up. <laughs> no, I've never been diagnosed as an alcoholic. I've been called an alcoholic. Actually, the only one, the only time I ever took offense to being called anything like that is when my buddy called me a lush. I did not like being called a lush. Now, at the time I was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, to be fair, I was drunk when he called me a lush, but I, I still don't like the idea of being called a lush. It just conjures up too many images of stuff being awful. Mm. The word lush, it's like, you know, it just seems distasteful. You always picture a lush being like somebody can't hold their liquor and you know, wobbly around. You're like that drunk girl at a freaking party. What do you think a lush is? Is that, oh my God, I love this song. Oh, this is a good song. I just smoked the wrong side of a cigarette. Oh, we should so go to Canada. Oh my God. Shut up, woman. Shut up, woman. I right, staple your face together. <sighs> staple your face together. I will staple your flap hole shut. <laughs> There's always one of them at a party. They are annoying. And if you don't know who they are, well, you should shut your hole. Because it's probably you. <laughs> Who's this asshole they keep talking about? I can't find him. I don't know. Go look around. You'll find him soon enough. <laughs> Remember the same guy brought the low and brow. <laughs> That's my beer. <laughs> go, go, go practice your math. <laughs> oh my not my nads. Jeez. <sighs> my letter. Exciting, exciting, exciting. Watch Clowny. Vile and Sam. Beavis. Oh, I love that movie. That's a great movie. I was so happy that they restarted that show back up. It was bad timing. I knew it wasn't going to last. I mean, it was very much an 80s cartoon. And they started it back. The episodes are funny as hell. When they, especially when the last one, they put the Cornholio when he was a cult leader. Oh, my God. That was out of pissing myself. 
Oh. <laughs> Don't know who it is, you're it. Yep. Exactly. That was a clean blaster. Captain Morgan Black. Wow. Yeah, well, I'm... Uh, boy, uh... You'd probably get in a shit cheerion. you probably get in a shit cheerion. Well... What about one of them... Uh... Rebel blaster things. I, if you can't get it on the inside, maybe you can lacquer the crap out of it and get it on the outside, because that's a thing, too. You basically just run thin coats of lacquer over it until it becomes sealed down. And I, I prefer myself to put it on the inside, less likely to be damaged. But on the outside, unless they make a Huh. I wonder if they make a clear hydro dip. You can just glue stuff to the outside of it and then put the hydro dip over top of it and that would seal it right the hell down. That's an interesting thought. Basically shrink wrap and blaster with modern technology. Hmm. Oh, the, the uh, Beavis and Butthead do America. Sockets in my kitchen have failed, so I have to drag the washing machine out my clothes tomorrow, which is fun when you're sick. Well, it depends on where you live. I mean, like uh, like here in the, in the area where I live, they'd probably look at you funny, but where my parents lived, I would have a washing machine out in the lawn. It probably wouldn't be the first one. So, <laughs> I guess the two clear, clear cloak, Mr. Gunkle. I'm thinking something you could just stick on there and wrap it, like, you know, like a, you said, like a hydro dip. Basically a giant saran wrap or shrink wrap you can get on there. So I was thinking hydro dip, because a hydro dip would go on pretty simple. I don't like going that way. I feel like I'm going to cut my damn finger. Yeah, like a film. A blanket film. I don't like your modern stuff, don't Something like that. There's got to be basically a clear hydro dip or a film that goes across. So you don't have to do that. I mean, I don't see why there wouldn't be, although I know hydro dips make to make it fancy, but there's got to be a, a clear one to make it uh, protecty. Ah, all right, Mr. Skin. Mr. Ed, I'll never call you that again. <laughs> I've never done a hydro dippy. I got some stuff from Prickly to do hydro dippy, but I haven't done it. I want to try it just because I can. That way I say I can do it, but I'm, I'm, I think hydro dipping is starting to be done to, well, was starting to be done to death, and I think we're at the point now we're just kicking the horse because everybody else is. Yeah. That's what, I, what am I making, Mr. James? I am making uh, one of them patches I made before. Except this time I'm using the monster. I only have one can though. My buddy took his ink and he hadn't finished his yet. I'm going to be making two of them if I did. You got to clean the edges up because they come off Stupid shark. After that, it's just literally gluing everything down. There ain't much to it. I'm sure I don't have my damn scissors down here, though. Sons of beaches. I'm going to have to do it with razor blades. I mean, it's going to have to be trimmed. Ow, pointy. I'm going to bar probably be going to be on use. I still have a bunch of water slide decals. I meant to give them to my buddy. Uh, shameless friend plug. Uh, Blade Roof, Blade Wolf Prime on Instagram. He does a lot of pretty much his own Gundam. Uh, he's God, probably the fastest damn Gundam builder I've ever seen. 
these perfect grades and things like that don't take them more than a freaking hour. The guy is fast. So three or four big kits in a day with paint and everything else on them and slide on labels. He he impresses the hell out of me. And I know I used to work with him. He impresses the hell out of me because he just seems to know exactly where to put labels and where to put lines and stuff like that. He doesn't even try. He just knows instinctively when to stop and where to put stuff to put just enough accent on to make him pretty. And if you look at some of the other stuff when he goes into competitions, I mean, those things are loaded to bear, and his is pretty sparse compared to everybody else's. But they're just more, they catch your eye so much better. You just innately good at it. And I really, I'm trying to think of, I've been trying to think of projects I can work with him to do a Nerf gun or a Gundam thing or something. And he's trying to bring Gundam here to, to the mid state. Uh, working with some of the local comic shops to bring one, bring it up. Uh, it's been a little hard because not everybody's playing along the way they're supposed to or want to do it the way the Gundam people say you're supposed to do it because they got their own rules. But uh, they, he's working on getting it up here. He wants to do a Gundam competition. He's trying to get it for this year, but I'm not sure. How well that's going to work for he needs funding. I told him I'd help him with anything I could. Because I'd, I'd like to see a Gundam thing there. Plus, then again, I also, he said, if I give him a hand and stuff, give over, I can do and help him out with people. I can get a table to sit at. So, he may be a judge or like unofficial Gundam regulation model things. Not the official Gundam, because... Apparently, you got to be official Gundam judging or something. I didn't quite get it. It's not my bag of tea to, for Gundam. I don't know what the rules are on that. For the judgy Gundam stuff. I had some tester water. Oh, I just read that. It's um, starting me off on the Gundam thing. Yeah, pirate. Oh, I'm bad with pirate. <laughs> This is the boring part. I watch it. Steepy, deepy, deepy. Shadooby, dooby. Dooby, dooby. I'm a strand. Strand. I think it's a Shriners. I'm not sure. Me driving little car. We don't get the gas so far. It's Shriners. I can put my Fez on again. Fez from the end war. Fez of many signatures. First it was the Fez of no signatures. No, it would make a cool pump if you put it, put the path on it and split it in half. You put the path. What? If you know that would make a cool pump if you put the path on it and split in half. Okay, you lost me on that one, Mr. James. I think I haven't held too many of these little fuzzy bits. I'm not working the way my brain cells. I need a little clarification on what your statement is there. Something about the pump and this. Of course, you could be talking about something I talked about two minutes ago. Split the patch in two. Ow! Ah, make it my geese. Oh, oh, I can't wait to get a shower today. Oh, pump grip. Pump grip. I'm thinking uh, air pump. Well, pump grip. Let's see, there we go. She told you it was going to be my fault. Stop doing that. There we go. That yeah, might be a cool idea. You need to get some of these on a shell. I'll tell you that much. It would be cool to have some of these up on shelves and things. I'll have to look into doing that maybe with some of the stuff too. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's... Uh, what the hell? It's in... I moved the box off my... You would say that when I put the... I did thank you for that. Don't make me think about that. I did thank you. I know I thank you. I think I think I thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I got to add it to another... Uh, I'm adding it to the uh, the one I got. I got another box sent to me from a, uh, somebody else. Uh, things I'm thinking of either doing that or adding it to a adding it to a. Well, I think I make you guys sick here for a second. That up there, that whole box is filled well, on top of that one. That's all filled up with uh with uh. I can't turn my head over. That's all filled up with uh 3D printing stuff. I'm either going to do the box added to uh, to that or put it with the, the other one I got from the second. I should have moved it. The one I got from uh, John Williams and Foam Blast. Because I don't have a whole lot of... It's not a long video. <laughs> it's actually, now that I think about it, it isn't a detrimental thing. Because as Mike the Cthulhu says, the almighty algorithm. The video's got to be right around 15 minutes. And people are like, oh, 15 minutes. Maybe maybe I will just do that on its own. Some, and if I do that too, it's also another video. I don't have to worry about making a second video. I mean, it's already a video. Yeah, okay, I ain't got no good excuse no more. I talked myself right out of my, out of my good excuse. That was dumb. should have kept my mouth shut. <laughs> they got to get it on there anyway, so that'll be a good that'll be a good follow up video. Oh, now see now I'm thinking now we're cooking with gas. Now I'm cooking with gas. Look out, groundhogs. <laughs> Reminds me of a story, as everything freaking does. When I lived in Middletown, I had a shed out back in my trailer. And the groundhog lived under my shed. Shoot up a lot of crap that lived in there and took a lot of shits in there. Made my shed into his own personal shit house and chewy hole and bordello. You know, the groundhog sex in the room in there is awful. So I decided I'm not paying for him to, to fornicate on my property. Use my property with his own personal poop house. And this this was the, the big groundhog of the area, too. He'd been chased out of a couple other spots. He decided to take up liberty on my land that I was renting. So I proceeded to try to remove said groundhog. First off, this groundhogs, if nobody knows, are related to, uh, uh, what do they call them? Groundhogs are related to badgers, which are related to bears. So groundhogs aren't anything to play with because they can be really mean. And they are fiercely territorial little buggers. And they will mess you up. And you don't think they will, but a groundhog can weigh up to 35 pounds, move faster than you do when they're low to the ground. And you get one that close to low, all of a sudden you panic because you realize you ain't that close to low. And you're trying to kick them is harder than you think. Yeah, like Wolverines. You think it's something, but the suckers are low. And being low, as anybody knows, in a fight can be an advantage to you. Because you cut off people's reaches. I mean, I don't know, because I'm short. So this little bugger been around the neighborhood probably longer than a groundhog should have been and he has the ability to know where to hide so you can't get a shot on him i couldn't get an angle on that little prick for a long time i, mean, I had to use an air gun because i can't use a shotgun it was right on the highway which i didn't really care to, just didn't like the neighbor at the time it might give me a problem so he ended up moving out. But this this sucker was a uh, yeah. I'd actually be the like to be the guy that assassinates Punxsutawney Phil. Somebody holds his little head up and then 
two twenty three goes ripping through his skull on national television. They'd have to have you in protected custody in jail. I guarantee it. Peter would love you so much. Well, they are of the same family tree, I do believe. Unless I'm mistaken, I'm not calling you out, homie. Don't don't think it that way. You as a teacher of the of that type of stuff, so you probably know a bit more than I do on that. I guarantee it. <laughs> Just a jolt. <laughs> Squirrels are jolt reskins. Oh, that's funny. So the uh, I tried poison, which didn't work. A couple different kinds. I tried gopher balls, and they call them gopher balls, and they're toxic. I tried putting poison in the fruit. I tried poison in the fruit. I tried bananas and the stuff that they're supposed to munch. That little bastard would not eat any of the stuff. He would have nothing to do with it. So I started getting mad. Because I can't do this. I mean, I'm, I'm used to growing up in the country. If we had a groundhog problem, we'd pour gas down the hole and blow them to hell. <sighs> not to mention half your lawn. But that was the fun part. Blowing up gopher holes. I can't do that because I'm like less than 10 feet from the highway. And that might draw a little bit of attention. They are big and mean little screw bags. So I suddenly get the bright idea from something I had to do before when I was damn near killed myself with it. I'm not thinking about it. I go get a big, go get a big old bucket from Home Depot. Yeah, I got raccoon story too. I don't like them. Yeah, I'm wondering, the raccoons are so cute. Now, them raccoons are freaking huge, man. Nobody knows how big a damn raccoon is until it's sitting on your car about two feet in front of your face. Holy shit. <laughs> we'll get to that one after this. So, this damn. I like to go to the Home Depot, I get a big old bucket, big old thing of bleach, and a big old thing of ammonia. And I take the bleach and the ammonia, and I throw it in the bucket. And I forgot there was a thermolytic reaction, so it just everywhere like oil, like vinegar and baking soda. And so I go to throw this crap over the bucket, and I go, I literally throw a bunch of rocks down the hole to see if he's in there and I take this five gallon bucket full of toxic death and just throw it down the hole well I had to lean down to get it so at the same time as this shit's going in the hole I get the I might like got my face down to it and this ground I hear this skirtling noise and then this scream sound and this groundhog comes ripping up out of the hole under my shed at a 45 degree angle like a cannon freaking airborne and I can see his little head he goes by he just turns and looks at me in slow motion and I could have swore to God I saw him mouth the words fuck you <laughs> and that was the last thing I remember because I passed out <laughs> because I got a good snoop full of that damn that damn uh, that damn mix it's not, not good to breathe and I ended up Laying behind the trailer for a good 10 minutes unconscious. <laughs> I was so glad when I woke up because I knew damn well if my roommate would have came home and saw me laying there. He wouldn't have done anything. He would have taken fucking pictures of it. So <laughs> Not the way I want to go. <laughs> but I did that every couple of, every couple of weeks then until I... Until it stunk up the stunk up my lawn really bad. The, the smell of bleach in that the smell of ammonia and bleach was in the back lawn so powerful. I ended up corking the holes down uh, with a bunch of dirt. Then never came back. Never came back. I even tried kitty litter throwing it down there too because that usually works out good too. With ammonia in the kitty litter. I want to make sure that sucker was gone. Yeah, measles. They chew shit up. Groundhog, I mean, the uh, raccoon, I used to play D&D &D at my buddy's house late at night in this trailer park. It was pretty wooded, uh, called Little Hollywood. It, uh, it was not a, was a it's a well-known trailer park.
park, but it's also a shitty trailer park because the landlord was a pain. I walk out and I got my big old uh, Z24, an 81 Z24 hatchback. You don't want to see what Clowney's favorite car was. Look up a Cavalier 1981 Z24 hatchback. And make you look for the spoiler kit one. So that's the kit I had, which was some kind of limited. Limited. I didn't know that till recently. But the on there was pretty cool. Hey, Mr. Stig. So I end up walking out to my car and I got my bag in one hand. I got my bag on the on the back for the and magic gathering stuff and i look up we can put my keys in the car and i got one hand on my bag over here holding this up and i got my keys in my car and I put the keys in and i go to twist and hear this and a freeze and on top of this day on top of my car it's not this freaking raccoon no I, i've never seen one not on the roadside squished and or been that close to one and I, I swear to God, like I, I've seen, I know how big they can get, but this was one big damn raccoon. I'm probably talking a good 40 pounds of raccoon. Just sitting on the top of my car, minding his own business, staring back at me. I freeze. I'm kind of getting a dead panic here. He's getting a little edgy looking back and I just look at him and go, hey, nice night. <laughs> Turns his head and sits down, and faces me, and like, "How you doing?" <laughs> Blinks, turns his head. <laughs> uh, here's the deal, buddy. I gotta go home. It's 6 a.m. I gotta work here in a couple hours. I'm gonna get a shower and take a shit. Would, would you mind getting off my car if I bring you a sandwich next time I come over? <laughs> Jumped off my car. <laughs> went away and i'll tell you what i came over uh, next weekend i brought a damn sandwich and i put it right out there under the tree <laughs> he's close enough he could have eaten my face i was not happy about that i figured it was a deal was a deal i'm gonna hold up my end of the bargain <laughs> I ain't having my face eaten by a raccoon. Not gonna happen. I had weird instances with animals and things like that. I, I used to have a pet rat. I actually had a couple. The guys were awful. Uh, I was in Elkia. Uh, let's see, the girls were uh, Akasha and Carmilla. And the guys were Melkaya and Mr. Balls. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Balls. <laughs> it's a pet rat. You guys know anything about rats? Mr. Balls is definitely a, an appropriate name for a rat. So he, uh, I decided I used to let the first one, Akasha, because she was I got here when she was little and let her pretty tame. I let her run around and do what she wanted to and just call them and have them come back. Bat salts are considered raccoon extract. Oh god, you know what? I got a story about them and that's not channel appropriate, I'll tell you that much. That was a bad decision. So just Bad decisions were made. I understand why people leave the other people's faces. I can completely understand that. <laughs> that was damn true. For sure, in the true, true. She used to walk around my apartment and hang out with me and on my shoulders everywhere I went. Scared the hell out of some lady at the bank. She thought she was a snake. As soon as I found out she was a rat, everybody was okay with it. I put her down on the counter and let her walk around while they were trying to fix my account. Bank manager had a bit of an issue with it. She you can't bring your pets in here. I'm like, I can't leave her out in the car. I'm on my way to the vet. Like, what's wrong with her? And he backs up. And I'm like, it was a big freaking lie. I'm just out shopping. I'm like, nothing. It's just time for a checkup. And I can't leave her out in the car because I can't leave my car running. She ain't got no air conditioning. And it's 100 degrees outside. And she'll die. And so he just pretended that she wasn't there. 
counter. There were these ladies at the counter loved her. He gave her candy. <laughs> and that little rat had a sweet tooth. I remember her. Then, but she used to she'd walk around on my shoulders. And not only did she have a sweet tooth, but she was also an alcoholic. Big surprise. She hung out with me all the time. So she... I'd pour a little glass. I'd get, drink a rum and coke or drink a beer, and I'd take a thimble or a bottle cap or something. What <laughs> <Blake> and fleas. <laughs> I'll have to remember that when I get some new ones. Find out what a word for plague is and do that. That'd be funny. Whatever whatever uh, language has the best word for the word plague, name, a, name the rat that. So... I uh take this little girl and he's running. I I like I said I used to feed her alcohol and like yeah, she kept trying to stick her nose in my drinks and I, I wasn't gonna have her drink out of the same glass as me because you know they they're incontinent and they kind of you know poop and piss and all over themselves and lick themselves. It's not as clean as a dog's mouth, you know. So. <laughs> Plague fleas. Oh, just a swarm of freaking uh, a swarm of micro darts. So I had her walk. I, I gave her alcohol in a little little container, like a, a bottle cap or something. Well, sometimes I'd have myself a little too much, which is like that. One night I passed out drinking, and I passed out in the chair, and I woke up and. Uh, well, the first first time I woke up and she was, she had her damn head in the glass, and I mean, like, oh, like if this was the glass, she was she was all up in that thing. I mean, she, I don't know how long she was in there, but I remember there being a lot more liquor in that glass when I first started drinking it, because it was freshly poured. I'd say she probably got a good quarter of that glass maybe an eighth of that glass down in her little body and i pulled her away from it she wasn't too happy about that <laughs> she i watched my rat get drunk that night <laughs> just set her down on the coffee table and set her down on the couch let her run around watch her slowly start to lose her balance move back and forth act weird roll over sneeze and Swear to God, laugh and giggle. And she got the bright idea to try to jump over the jump over the coffee table, which is like a foot. No problem for a rat, because a rat can jump, I think, like two feet. I think is what they can do. <laughs> Only about a foot to the coffee table. She's backing up and stopping, backing up and stopping. And you're coiling up. And I look at him like, Akasha, you really don't want to try that. Looks over at me, and I <laughs> looks back and jumps and completely biffs it. Bounces herself off the coffee table, slams into the ground, lays on her back, and no idea how the hell she got there. I scoop her up, puts, make sure she's got water, put her cage next to me, make sure she's okay before I go to bed and I go to sleep. Wake up the next day and she is laying in her cage and just laying there and she ain't moving. I thought she's dead. She weren't. <laughs> Got her <laughs> laying, laying there on the damn on the little thing. She's got her head buried in the buried in. The, <laughs> I got a walkway on top. I made out of metal, and she's got, got a she's mounded up on this freaking bedding has got her head covered in the bedding with her body laying out across the across the grating <laughs> I felt so bad <laughs> poor, poor little girl hung over from hell <laughs> this is my service animal I now, service animals weren't big in existence for stuff like that. I wouldn't have thought dogs back then. I didn't know you could actually go off and get like things like that, like things for them, like nowadays. Like you need to remember, this was uh, a good twenty years ago. Stuff like that, you could 
easy 15 years ago so like the idea of like a service rat or a service cat or a service thing like that for other thing other than like a service animal being like a like a watchdog or like seizure dogs and stuff we're still kind of new kind of a new thing still so like but like the CNI dogs are the dog for the people in the wheelchairs that know like a thousand tricks no, not, not the people in the wheelchairs the dogs and that, that was something that was kind of new it was an unheard of thing yet. Our fermented mellow one actually, yeah. Yeah, she barfed all over her cage, too. I remember not pleasant feeling and smelling by any means whatsoever. And she almost killed me one night. As I lay, sat in my chair, I started putting my head back, and I started falling asleep. And she liked to sniff around my neck and my teeth like that. Just to get in there, I don't know what the hell she was doing. Like, sniff around my face and stuff, and I didn't mind. She didn't bite me or anything. She just go and hang up and go under my beard and lay under my beard, go on my hair and hang under my hair or lay under my chin. So I, I started falling asleep, and next thing I know, I'm violently woken up by the fact that I'm gagging to death on something. <laughs> Come to realize it's my rat jammed herself down my throat to about her hindquarters. <laughs> Latched on to the back of my molars with her little hands and her mouth onto my uvula. <laughs> Grabbed her by the tail, yanked her out, and she went flying across the room and hit the wall. I, I felt bad. I flung her, but she, <laughs> she freaking tried to kill me. <laughs> All I can picture is the neighbors coming upstairs two days later when they're trying to figure out what the hell, what the hell I ain't left the house or come down to say hello in a day. Find me up there with a the rat stuff down my throat and the tail twitching away. Uh, damn well they would have taken pictures before. They... Flat out admitted. <laughs> pictures first, then ambulance. <laughs> oh. so this is where we get into what I'm going to consider the math portion of this. This is, you'll find out what that one's got a bunk on it. I don't want the bunk one. I don't want the good one. No bunkos. Okay. Now. Get this out of here. I want scratchy. I don't want good. Oh, it's really been an hour and a half me doing this. Oh, Lord. I'm going to shut my pie hole more often. Okay, see, you need some kind of backing to this. You don't want to glue it right to the neck, to the leather because it makes a, a spot. So the trick is to give yourself enough space, and I literally just use a damned popsicle stick to do this. That's all I use because it's an even space. You'd be surprised. How many times I use popsicle sticks for rulers? See you, Mr. Gunkle. Thank you for hanging out with me. Ugh, broken lid. Rat bark was unpleasant. Go to duck out. Oh, I read that homely. Homely, good. Okay, good night, homely, or good day, homely. Thank you for listening to me ramble and ramble on about rats and rat barf. And horrible things such as that. Well, normally I do this with a razor, but it has been uh, it looks pretty symmetrical. I'm gonna try doing this without a razor. The trick is with the razor is I don't cut all the way through. I just cut most of the way through. And if I stay inside the lines when I cut this, I'm good to go. Okay. Now, like I said, I use popsicle sticks for a lot of measurement stuff because, like, uh, I, I actually have one to measure out different than it's, uh, the hell I know, there in the bucket. It's cut flat, and it's a measurement of how far the darts stick out the barrel on a night finder and then one on a, uh, uh, well, various pistols. Uh, what the hell? Night finder or sharp fire is one for a 
No, I've only used once or twice. The, that way, I don't got to keep making them. Nice to have. Only problem is, I tend to forget where the measurement is, so I got to put the dart up against it and measure it. Anywho, so I need a new paintbrush for this too. And I'm out of these foamy brushes. I like the foamy ones for the glue. I don't think they have much other purpose in life. They kind of suck for everything else. Okay. Get around the edge. I think I might do this one in twos. Give it a secondary lift off of the edge. So it has not just one layer of foam under it, but two. That way it's uh, got a little bit more height than your regular regular one. And I think I did the NOS ones in a single. I don't quite remember, but I wasn't entirely happy with the way they turned out. Of course, then again, I wasn't entirely happy with the fact that I didn't realize how damn big they were, too. I mean, those things are huge. It's like a four inches across, easy. Something like that. It's a, that's quite an impressive patch size for real estate. I remembered I was going to start doing more of these. I would have been smart and bought that damn Velcro junk at the... Uh, Goodwill outlet. I knew I needed to buy that for something. I just left it sit. Literally a big strap of long Velcro. Like like a what the hell they call it. Uh, somebody did a oh uh, like a words. Use your words. <laughs> oh, what's the word? Like a, a strap, like you find on a backpack or something. It's literally what it was, but it was a Velcro instead, and I left it sitting there like a dunce. And I was getting tired, it was sore. I didn't feel like buying it because I couldn't figure out exactly what the hell I wanted it for. Then I remembered now that you know, should remembered then that I should just bought the damn thing because it was like a five foot strap of. Velcro, for God's sake. I was stupid to leave behind, as is. That was not a smart move. Should not have done that, clowny. But you did. I did. I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. I did. I go figured eat her googan with my flavus. I am sorry. My fellow Americans. I lied. I giggity her flavin' with my googus. And I lied. Giggity. her flavin' with my googus. Okay. Time for some noise. Turn off the fart fan. That's not it. There we go. And turn on this one. Can't have the heater going and the fan and the stove going at once. Go on there again. Little one's trying to run away. You can see the lights dull as it is. Yes, we have. You know, like right now, I'm burning the feeling off my fingers. That gets hot. Oh, one, two. I'm going to place the hot thing on top of a bunch of random pieces of shitty paper. I am intelligent. I smart. Springy. Spoing. Okay. I hate how this shit curls up like that. I mean, it's Sucks. Oh, you suck. Why do you curl? Why do you curl? Don't stick yet, you prick. Get down there. Okay. Now, you lay it up flat. Get some press over. Get 
the edges down. It's inevitable there's always going to be little scratches all over this thing. I think I have to start covering these in some sort of tape. It would be a smart maneuver. I tried that, Mr. White. Uh, the problem is, like, this it's not like it's a scratch-free thing. Like, this is very much something that scratches easily. Like, I, even with you, uh, even if you put something over top of it, there's a chance you can still scratch it, which is a bit of an issue. I don't have a rolling pin anyways. I got another thing, though. Yeah, it's, remember, it's just thin-ass aluminum. So it's not like it's extraordinarily durable. Kind of the patches like that. Kind of not exactly a selling point, I guess. <laughs> Probably a thin metal patch. It might possibly scratch and thin. Of course, then again, I guess those hats ain't much different, though, are they? They kind of do the same damn thing. They kind of get all stupid and scratchy. I might as well do this one while I'm at it. Let me give that time to cure up. Monster, 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 under my bed. Come out and play with my friend. Oh, no wonder. Who sings that song? You guys heard that song? Monster, monster, under my bed. Come out and play with my friend. And the one for my friend. I don't know what it is about that song. I really, really like that song. It's interestingly depressive. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily have to be super precise with this. Like some of the other ones I did, I used uh, two forms of one underlapped the over on the other so it made a two layer foam the goal is to get the tandy and see what i can find in leather so i can do one layer of foam underneath it to give it smushy and then something else and then cheap leather on top of it and i, I don't want to get i have cheap leather i got from a couch but it's like vinyl cheap leather, so it's got that like jacket inside to it. I mean, it would work for this real good, and it's big squares. Not the monster side of her head. Yeah, well, unless you don't try to eat your face. <laughs> My little niece sings about a muskrat named Muskratsky. He gave all the animals in the lawn's name, and Dad said there's a muskrat that lives in the stick pile. And she said he said he needs his name. His name is Muskratsky. <laughs> Dad thought that was the funniest damn thing I think he's ever heard of freaking Muskratsky. Yeah. <laughs> they all damn story about Muskratsky. Wakes up in the morning, goes to the plant. <laughs> Polish muskrat living under a pile of sticks. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, going off feet there. I don't know. Is, is it Eminem? That might explain why I like it so much. I don't know who sings it. That's what I was asking you guys. Not to sound like a dink. I'm assuming it's called Monster. I, I can't make it pick up on my phone because I can't sing worth the shits. I guess I could. I guess I could Google it. So, uh, trying to include you guys into my life. And the hell with y'all. <laughs> Oh, uh, where are we going here? Uh, Pirate Johnson probably got it, though. He's writing almost anything he says. Song, Monster. Uh, 
A place, don't tell me it's Skillet. I'd laugh my ass off. Is it Skillet? That'd be funny as hell. My buddy started getting me listening to Skillet years ago. Oh, that's an ad. I don't care about an ad. Watch this get me flagged. I don't think this is it. Maybe it is. This is going to get me flagged. I know it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I guess that's it. Wait, maybe. Maybe not. Gonna tone it down here. I don't know in a minute. Oh, that's the other song. That's the song. That's not the song, but that's the other one. That's a skillet one. So song. We'll just do a M and M. M. M and M. I think it's a rap song. Problem is, I haven't caught it from the beginning. I don't remember much of them guys, though, Ryder. Problem is, my brain gets shot on stuff. I'm not good at picking and remembering things. Oh, any time now. Any time now. Come on. I don't want to listen to your funky junky. I don't care about your what you've been doing for 30 years here, Eminem. Uh, nope, it's not that either. Three days grace. Oh, tripe. Let's try that one. This has become educational. Three days grace, monster. Animal. She's going to come. Let me pull lyrics. Pull lyrics. Okay, we'll just do this way. Maybe I can trick it. Lear. How do you spell lyrics? Lear. Lear. Oh, monster. Mon monster. Monster. Under, under my bed. Song by Call Me Kaziri. K A R Kazamiri. Ah, that's probably it. Come out and play because you are my friend. Oh, yeah, that's it. Monster, monster, and I might come out and play because I need a friend. You're so damn close that I feel your breath. You're the only one that I have left. Yeah, that, that's the damn song. I like that song. Yeah, I feel like my dad all of a sudden. Oh, that's a good song. Yeah, he goes out and buys 30 albums to find one damn song. <laughs> of, course, of course, back then, you couldn't just get on the internet and find find one song. You had to buy 30 albums to find the freaking song. No, I didn't either. I guess it's, I guess that's good, because it's a new band. And it's nice to have new bands pop up that don't suck. There's a band that played late night on a, on a. You guys have never listened to it. Alice Cooper does a show, uh, late night, and it's probably the best damn radio show I think I've ever heard in a long time. Because he plays everything he wants to play. He plays everything from Metallica. And the next thing he'll play is you'll hear some uh, Pink Floyd. And then there'll be some old jazz on there. 
and then there'll be Frank Zappa, which is great. With the uh, I think I should be using this one. this one getting dull for this. I mean, he plays a lot of good stuff in there, and it's nice to hear it. He played this mix-up of a song that I wrote it down, and unfortunately, when I cleaned my car out, I threw out a lot of the receipts that had things on them because I forgot I put crap on receipts. So they went away, which was disappointing and stupid at the same time. I had half a brain, I want to put them on damn receipts. Oh. Now I want that song in my head. Suck a monkey. Monster, monster. The drink tastes like ass. You find your logo on things that ride gas. <laughs> yeah, we got D. Snyder's House of Hair up here, too. And honestly, I'm not a big fan of D. Snyder House of Hair. I mean, there's something about him being a DJ that just irritates the piss out of me. Yeah, that's how that scar got there. I have the thing for this. It's just I never bothered to to use it. <laughs> it probably should. It'd be a lot safer. I don't like the control I don't get with it, though. God knows we're not known for patience and safety in this community. A lot of us do a lot of really dumb things. The trick when you're doing this is not to cut straight down. You want to cut at a little bit of an angle. So you get underneath it because the foam smushes. Yeah, I, you know what? I think that's what it is. I think it's his voice. I think it's D. Snyder's voice. Sounds very much like a radio schlock, doesn't he? Like, like crap DJ from the 80s. <laughs> I guess it's somewhat fitting because he plays a lot of hair metal bands. I can't... There's no gore! Gore wasn't exactly hair metal, but... I mean, I can't think of a band that pretty much summed up 80s music pretty good. I mean, Guar was definitely among them bands. You can be able to pull that. Oh, my God. Yeah, I mean, you can actually. I'm Guar today. God. I'd love to see a Guar band today. I'd be considered Guar today. I mean, not, not, it's not easy to answer. I mean, you can't just go like. You know, like System of a Down or something, or not System of a Down, or like a band, what they call them, uh, like, uh, I know, yeah, I know the hell I'm thinking about. You can't just go like those guys today, Slipknot, nah, that's not, that's not a Guar type band. I mean, it kind of is, because they do the whole mask thing, but that's, you know, that's not what made Guar Guar. I mean, what would be the equivalent of a Guar band today, because... Seriously, uh, like, I used to really have a problem admitting that I liked Ghost. I mean, Ghost was never really my thing. So, definitely, because they looked like Britney Spears shit. And they, 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 they looked, they sung amazing, but he looked like Britney Spears. I mean, he looked, he looked awful. And he looked scary as hell and metal, and then they sing like that, and it was disappointing. But then I realized something is that they're just Kiss. Now, granted, I hate Kiss. You can argue amongst yourselves with that, and I won't bother defending my point. But yes, war is just Kiss. That's all they are. Kiss looks like evil in the 70s. And they sung like Britney Spears. Oh, well, you know what I mean. Poppy, pop music. So it was interesting. Two Casey Kiss shows and a couple of Stacey. Place it looked after Shane passed away. Huh. 
The only one I can really see to deal with is Detroit Rock City, because it's kind of hard to deny that song. And uh, I think it's Demon. I mean, Detroit Rock City is kind of hard to deny. That That's a pretty damn solid song. But uh, at the same time, no, they still extremely disco to me, which <laughs> my brother agreed with. And then the argument came next with that was somebody was talking about the, the Lemmy Motorhead documentary. And I said Lemmy was extraordinarily honky tonk. And my brother kind of threw a fit on that. Lemmy was very honky tonk, which was interesting. Doesn't mean he wasn't any less metal. It just means, no, you let me. <laughs> I used to get the Kiss comic too, and McFarlane was doing that. Started out good until he turned it over. It sucked. Oh, I think I'm going to have to pee. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to pee. Okay, so I'm going to get up and go pee and stretch my legs for a moment. Um, Drain over in the kitchen, not the kitchen, the drain in the basement is calling my name. It's telling me to go pee, and I gotta get a lighter anyway, so give me like a minute or two, and I will be right back. And I'm gonna sit down and grab a lighter and show you the next love gun. <laughs> yeah, love gun. Yeah, love gun's not bad. Love gun, yeah. Or, uh, God, now I want to listen to just Black Diamond. Now I want to listen to, to uh, Neil, not Neil Diamond. Uh, yeah, Neil Diamond. I listen to Neil Diamond all of a sudden. Uh, I am man. I am evil. I am man. Uh, oh, boy. Ah, this cold weather sucks. Wish it would pick a temperature. Actually, what I got to do is saw the bottom legs off this chair, and that'll be much better. Oh, oh, crap. There we go. Okay. Give me like a minute or two, guys. I'll be right back. Talk amongst yourselves or if there's any moderator, just start slamming people for the fun of it. Pirate, you're not a moderator? Oh, hell, I gotta fix that. Okay, come back. You gotta make Pirate a moderator. Damn it. I thought I could be a moderator on there. Or what the hell's wrong with me? Well, for some strange reason, sitting on his roof, they heard no hammering, and you got no toolbox, Just sitting up there like the birds, watching everybody. Oh, there's that knife. Knife. It's uh, silver, silver etchings, and the handle that's made out of it is something special. Uh, okay. All right. First, we need to correct this egregious problem. Uh, 
There we go. You've been here enough, too. There we go. That works. Now, right, where was I? This style. Yeah, I'll give him a leg up, too. He's already one on my, my regular thing, so that'll work. You get a hammer now, too. Casually insults moderators. <laughs> That'll work now. Neo Seeker seventh period, and I got nothing to do. Clowny stream. Hey now. Hey now. Hey now. What the hell? What did I help you with? I just help you get through seventh period. <laughs> seventh period. I didn't think I had seven or eight when I was in <laughs> school. I don't remember. They kept changing them. Not in time often. Okay, so when you do these, it pays to heat seal this. So it's good to do it with something other than a flame, but you know, flame gotta melt your melt your stuff up, but and, uh, not a hair dryer either. You can blow it out. See how the foam gets this change to it. It kind of shrinks it back too. Which is good because some of these finer edges need to be pulled back some. And I should probably be doing. Damn it, see, I got a freaking planner's mole wart thing right in my damn. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Now I remember. See, I told you my memories of shit. I got a planner's wart right there. It's. It sucks when I nerf. It's one. It's the reason I don't use my hammer shot as much as I used to, because uh, if you do it with a flame, by the way, go this way, because uh, heat goes up. Uh, heat gun ain't so big of a difference, but you want to go. Make sure you go up with a flame, because you, you're looking at the spot where the heat's not concentrating. And you see how that pulls away from the from the edges. Now you get a better edge. You know, happen some more, and I put the other half underneath that one again. So, yeah, I uh, should probably do this too. <laughs> yeah, so I don't use my hammer shots as much as I used to because of the, uh, the planter's mole on there. It makes it uncomfortable to to go with because it's right where I got a freaking prime. I've tried things to take it off. I've tried quite a bunch of things to take it off, and I just can't seem to get the hell rid of it. It doesn't bother me enough that I got to have a doctor freeze it, but at the same time, I kind of don't want to keep having to deal with the damn thing when I've been done stuff. I end up, every couple of days, I end up, uh, well, at least once a week, I end up trimming it off with a razor or taking my, uh, taking my uh, uh, Dremel to it and boring now as far as I can. Go to the doctor and have it burnt. Yeah, see, that's what I was saying. But unfortunately, I got no insurance. And I actually think I know somebody that does that professionally, or the dermatologist. Something tells me I know a dermatologist, but I'm not exactly sure if I do or if I don't. I haven't figured that out for a while. Don't want to be in the day to be separate to reduce flight. It's like, oh. What about that? See, so, yeah, we have the other school, but we don't have that kind of other school. There's enough space between us that it was uh, elementary and high school, so we didn't have high school, high school rivalry and a mountain between us. I did duct tape for a while. Hello, Rodney. I did duct tape, too, for a little bit. I got nothing out of it. It didn't work for some reason. I mean, it did work for a while, but it just didn't work well enough. So the other problem is I got a well, kind of embarrassing. I got a bunch of uh, uh, skin tags. Capitalism healthcare. <laughs> I got a bunch of skin tags like a like a dead forest in both my armpits. There's quite a bit of them. Those. I can actually have removed because those are actually causing problems. Every once in a while, they get snagged up on something and they get really sore. 
And if they get sore and painful, you can have them taken out and it won't cost you all but one one thing. So that's easy. I don't know they, they charge you for either the hours or get the parts together for it by the piece. And I ain't got the money by the piece, I'll tell you that much. Damn sure. Question for you, not you. Nope, nope, I don't game. Uh, I did play did play Destiny for a little while. When my buddy uh lived with me, he's the same guy I'm living with now. But he don't play Destiny either. Uh, he's like me, not a big fan of arena games, and combat games like that, like Apex and all the other ones that come out. To me, they're all the same. Much like him, they're all the same game. Uh, I prefer things with uh, large, large women. I prefer uh, things with large uh, platforms to them. So, like things like, uh, oh, what do they call it? Uh, damn it! Um, I'm gonna name the damn games all of a sudden. Oh, games like uh, Skyrim and stuff like that, where I can have a lot to do, and it's just kind of me. And there's a big, big story. That's apparently paper under here. There's. <laughs> There's a big story, lots to do, things like that. I like games with a lot of story. And things are just more fun to me. I don't have to deal with a bunch of little children whose parents buy them all the pre-release shit. And then all they do is play the game constantly because they have nothing else to do. And then every time you do or say something or get in to try to play, they just treat you like crap because they're little bastards. And you can't even so much as cough or turn left without them calling you some four-letter word or racial term or something. <laughs> awful. Awful, awful, awful. Skyrim was my was my shit, though. I loved my Skyrim. I loved my Skyrim. You see, Skyrim was the shit for me. I loved my Skyrim. I played a lizard guy, and all I did was a sneak archer. I liked the... Uh, I wish I could have modded it. But I didn't mod it. I'd like to play a game like that where I, I got into it. I'd hide the bodies. <laughs> I'd stuff them into places. And, like hunt down bandits because uh, even like when I play Dungeons and Dragons, I'm very much. I don't like when they call me. People call me by my name if I'm playing Dungeons and Dragons and you want to get my attention. Or we're playing. You better call me by my character name because if you don't, then it better be a question for me. If it ain't. And no reason talking to me then, because you have to be talking to my character. And I keep files on other people's characters while I play, so I got that stuff in there. I like playing the, uh, I like playing the game, and being the guy, I like the immersion of it. Yeah, see, that gives me the thing. I shouldn't have done it the way I did it, because now you get this blue lip. So this is a kind of a funky one. If you don't heat treat before you put it over, you don't wind up with that with that edge. So it goes in there. And that is one semi-completed patch. Yeah, well, it's a long trip to play D D, Rodney, but I would definitely be up for it at least at least a once a month. That's for sure. Like go out and nerf all day than D and D. That would be a lot of fun. I wouldn't mind that. Nerf all day than D and D when we get home. Something tells me I've hard to screw this up. I think with the NOS ones, did I not leave an edge? I left an edge around them. Suck a monkey. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. So I did mess this up <laughs> because when you put this down, it's not going to have the ability to have a sewy spot. Uh, bucks. For fucks. For fuck's sake. Sake of the fucks. Okay, that's what this comes into play. That's right. I'm too busy rambling. So this one's just going to get a hunk of Velcro glued across the back of it. But this one is going to get done the way I normally do them. Which is my pencil. Doom. I have a Doom D&D. &D. Oh, that's freaking cool. Yeah, you got a nice Doom shotgun too, by the way, buddy. 
We'll talk about that instead, huh? <laughs> Yeah, Rodney is the guy that got my shotgun that I made for the uh, for the Doom the Doom shotgun commission. In case y'all ain't seen that video, y'all should get yourselves updated. <laughs> Rodney got my Doom shotgun, which was uh, I'm probably gonna end up shooting me in the face with it. It's suck. Not like it hits really hard though, but. I just don't want to get shot in the, in the face with my own shotgun, my own creation. You don't want to be shot in the face. No, not in the face. Please, sir, not in the face. Yeah. He came out the gun. He shot me in the face with the shotgun. Now I talk like this. It's insulting to almost everybody that hears it, even if they don't know what this horrible accent is supposed to be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now I want to watch Super Beasto. Yeah, I know you have to because you're a heartless face shooting bastard. But you are a heartless face shooting bastard, you. you. Horrible, horrible face shooting man, you. Oh, he shot me in the face. It was bad. Oh my God. Right in the face. This man in a pirate suit came up and shot me in the face. <laughs> a pirate suit. <laughs> <laughs> okay curved lines are a little bit of a problem with this so i think we're gonna try this i did this on another one before you gotta find the match angle you just kind of go around to make the edgy and what this will do is give you the spot to make it sound dirty. Dirty boy. You're so dirty. I shoot you in the face and then I do it again. And I come back and I shoot you some more. And I keep shooting you in the face, but you don't like it. But I don't care because I'm German. And I shoot you in the face. And you're going to like it because I shot you in the face. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh my god you have no that, that freaking movie is a uh, has hilarious i love i love it well it's really funny as if like when you watch it if you're old enough to watch it in a certain fashion it's much funnier I guarantee it. <laughs> oh, sick monkey, why won't you? Okay, see, I'm running into a problem here where I can't get the angle that I want on this. That's not. If I could fold it because it was foam, it would make a lot more sense. The trick is trying to get it to match, and I'm not having the best of luck here getting hair. Drawing a monster. Oh, one more monster song in my head. Please. Mm. Let's see. It's not where it's supposed to be. So I used actual tools. This probably wouldn't be a problem. I like to use popsicle sticks. do this the worse it's going to get too that's the big problem see so the trick now is just going to be to cut it and see what i can do to fix it not kill them uh 
Well, are you shooting to kill them or are you just shooting to shoot them? Because there's a bunch of really bad places that aren't your groin. <laughs> and aren't your groin to be shot in that are bad places? Bill Murray! Bill Murray. Bill Murray is awesome. I like Bill Murray. My mom hates Bill Murray. I don't know how somebody can hate Bill Murray. I just realized I used an entirely one entire piece of foam doing this because I'm not paying attention to my cut losses. It's okay, we figured into the price. <laughs> That's great. Oh, God, this chair is hard on my ass. There's enough cushioning on my ass. I don't have to worry about that either. I don't want to chair all of a sudden has to be hard on my ass. <laughs> Some Robin Williams stuff bothered me. There's a movie he did in the 80s, and I can't remember what it was. John Lithgow played a transvestite. That's all I remember about the movie. John Lithgow played a transvestite. John Lithgow is one of my favorite actors. Not that I have a problem with John Lithgow playing a transvestite or transvestites. I feel like I need to say that in this day of age. I'm just saying it was an awesome movie that needs to be revisited. I want to say it was called Tootsie, but I'm not entirely sure. This would be a lot easier if I had my damned scissors. Rodney, go upstairs and get my scissors. <laughs> Okay. Now, see, when you put this down, then this will give you the edge and a little more place to sew fast, too. Unlike I did with the other one, which doesn't have a lip to sew on. So, if you want a sewy lip, some people like to sew their patches on, this one will have that option. Birdcage. No, not birdcage. Uh, this is much older than birdcage. This is Robin Williams when he, I think he was just done doing cocaine. I'm not entirely sure. Well, same thing we do every night, Pinky. Thoughts, brain? A pinky on the brain. Have you seen the postmodern jukebox? Is that what you posted, baby pirate? Uh, postmodern jukebox. Uh, sung Pinky in the Brain, and they had the two guys that do Pinky in the Brain in the background doing Pinky in the Brain voices. It was utterly amazing. It was uh, it's they it's a band that I think it, they have like a a clown or whatever uh, puddles the the depressed one a suicide clown guy, and uh, they get other people in to sing. That this was the one with the chick who didn't make it through American Idol. Because apparently, you know, well, American Idol is a popularity contest. This chick could sing circles around half the competition. Not that I watch that shit show anyways, because I just watch it until he's done making him cry. But uh, my buddy had to show me stuff around about her because he's obsessed with her. And she, uh, she can sing. She can really sing. And she did a version of a, a Soundgarden a black hole sun that was incredible absolutely incredible i have no way to describe just smoky hot nightclub version from prohibition way of singing it it was so great and then she came out and did uh, a sultry version of pinky in the brain that's right, you're an hour away from me. I forgot. Yeah, you're you're only halfway, halfway there. 
halfway there. No, oh, maybe I'll go to Maryland this weekend if nobody wants to help me move my shit downstairs. Screw everybody. Oh, I can't. I won't be able to walk. <laughs> Dark helmet and ready. Dark helmet. The size of your helmet. No, sir. I didn't see you playing with your dolls again. <laughs> knock next time. Knock. <laughs> My buddy went out and bought a bunch of those Star Wars girl dolls. Uh, because the, they came with extra stuff, and the Leia one was there. I, I probably won't be there either, Rodney. The Leia went, Leia one came with R2-D2s for $5 because they were on clearance. And I wanted to catch them. He keeps messing with them. One of these times, I'm going to catch him messing around with them just so I can walk in, and hopefully he'll do it. And, uh, I used to call my buddy at 7.30. If anybody understands, what time is it? Fist goes through all 7.30. <laughs> That's a reference most people don't understand anymore. Fellow people here will probably get it. Everybody knows. Yeah. So stupid. Stupid. New class today, Judy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm so stupid. Stupid. <laughs> Don't you know the Dewey Decimal System? Oop, almost dropped it. That would have sucked. There. Look at that. I forgot a single one of your references. Ed, you need to watch the movies, I see. Brain, I got a bunch of brain stress balls for you. Oh, I wonder if I can shoot them out of the... Oh, well, I can't say the name of that thing. I got a name of a blaster I've been working on for a while, and I think it's going to be funny. I just need to... Uh, I need to get it uh, finalized up. My other form of measurement. Where's my yellow one? The edge is actually correct. This is my other form of measurement. Ed, we're going to have to educate you in some truly awful movies at some point in your life. You're probably not going to like. I mean, it depends on your tolerance for for the bad movies. Uh, I'm talking true schlock. Schlock like you've never seen before. And then good schlock, too. There's plenty of good schlock out there. That's a definitely definitely something that happens. There's good schlock. Good schlock and there's bad schlock. Current references I was talking to. Ultramarines. I haven't seen them. Zombie, see, zombie strippers is a good one, though. That's a good way to start. It's not a bad way to start with zombie strippers, but I'm going to move on to zombie beavers from there. Those are modern, and both those have boobies. So, yeah, that's always good to watch. The pick of destiny. Yeah, see, I hate, I hate Jack Black. I cannot stand Jack Black, and I cannot stand Tenacious D. But God damn, if I don't love that movie, that movie is just funny. And Timothy Robbins is in it. God bless him. It's so funny. <laughs> Probably be doing more than eyeball this, but man, what the hell? What's the worst I can do? Fuck it up, right? <laughs> Keep sliding in my chair. <laughs> no, you don't know what you're missing, Ed. <laughs> oh, it's a shame, buddy. You gotta watch some of this stuff. UHF with Weird Al Yankovic. You like Weird Al Yankovic. Who doesn't like Weird Al Yankovic? 
Weird Al is the king, man. Everybody loves some Weird Al Yankovic. You gotta watch UHF with Weird Al Yankovic. You'll like that one. That's a good one, too. That was actually a very unfortunate movie. And it started out on the same day as like a, a Ghostbusters opening or something like that. So I couldn't have had a worse day to, worse weekend to open. Uh, see, that's not so bad. I got to tuck in here. Get in a little bit closer. Mm -hmm. So it has a little bit more symmetricality to it. Should be working on some projects instead. This probably should be done with it by now, but I can't stop yapping. I didn't realize it took this long to make these things. Oh, I forgot how old I are. <laughs> oh, Al is. Yeah. I forgot that, too. I forgot he was that old. He's still damn funny, though. Reminds me, I gotta see if he's coming back around to Hershey. He usually comes to Hershey in the summertime. He's usually here at some point or another in Hershey, which is nice, because I get to watch him. I haven't seen him perform for quite some time, and I'm getting a little, a little anxious over that. Because he's had a couple albums out, and I, I haven't bought them. I made the mistake, made the mistake of leaving one on a car too. Once that was stupid. Of course, I left the car in the in the parking lot where I wrecked it. So, <laughs> uh, okay. Now, a little more heat sealing. Clean the edges. Okay. Did this once and the glue wasn't dry. Imagine what kind of surprise that was. <laughs> Boom. Okay. Now, if you heat seal them too, it also helps keep it from uh, getting the glue soaked completely in, which makes a big deal. Especially when you go to do the, the leather, because uh, the leather is a uh, very porous. Probably maybe one went with something other than blue, but I like the blue. Blue just happened to be the one that had tons of, so I said, "Screw it, we're blowing it." <clears throat> Mark Olinsky taught me that. Oh, oh, boom! Hickory dickory dock. <laughs> <laughs> hickory dickory duck <laughs> somebody in this chat room probably Rodney will understand why I'm laughing at hickory dickory duck and I would appreciate if you do know what I'm laughing at but please do not finish the limerick <laughs> Because it is something. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> I figured you would, Rodney. Old Cadillac man himself. <laughs> the other side. Look, the other side's got that porous look. Okay. This is where I wished I still had my scissors downstairs because this is where they would really come in handy. Should probably go over these with a pair of scissors or something. I mean, a marker would be a lot easier to see it, but I don't think any of my markers have any juice left in them anymore. I think they're all kind of worn out. Okay. Just go over that till I get my way through. Yeah, I realize I'm cutting on top of my cutting board. 
Nice hard go rest. Yeah. Well, go ahead and rest. I don't need sleep. Sleep is for the poor and underrated. And sleep when I'm dead. Be mellow when I'm dead. I'll be mellow when I'm dead. Be mellow when I'm dead. What are you? Cosmic Cowboys. Gotta get it through your head. I'll be mellow when I'm dead. Don't want no part of that vegetarian scene. I got a designer jeans. I got a heart note. hot tub to my name. And thing it's all the same to you. I'd rather, rather, of course, in self awareness. Oh, God, I can't remember how it goes. It's the biggest problem. Well, I'd rather have a Big Mac and a Jumbo Jack and all the beans, sprouts, and Jap in Japan. Another no, I can't hit. <laughs> so many notes I can't hit. So many notes. So many notes that a clown can't hit. And you hear a name go away before the time. Gosh, you pay. When well, you wake in the morning, sleepy. Mom, pretty Penny was her name. She was gonna be all messed up. One of my favorite songs, sung by Stone Temple Pilots on the Unplugged album. Maybe it was Alice in Chains. No, Alice in Chains did something else. And that was a great, that was a great damn song, man. And they go ahead and do it and make it even better. Okay, yes, I'm right. I'm right. I to bit it up again there for a second. But I didn't. I did good. <laughs> man in the box. I'm actually partial to Spoon Man myself. Probably got to be my favorites. One of my favorite songs by them. I wonder if I can do this the stretch method. Not slicing my fingers open or completely screwing the edge up. Well, maybe I should trace it first before I try that. Need dexterity for this. Trade dexterity for a, a sharpened blade. Yeah, I know I can break it loose, but I'm not gonna. I don't want to. Means I have to replace it. Means I have to go to Harbor Freight. I won't go to Harbor Freight. Every time I go to Harbor Freight, I buy a handful of these damn things anyways. I don't know what the hell I do with them by the time I get home. I'm pretty sure there's a box or some whole oblivion to stuff with these things in my car full somewhere. I don't Probably don't want to rest that in the crook of my hand. Not the smartest place to put an edge right in the web of your fingers. I end up getting it cut open like my mom did. And grow pews in there like my brother did. The statement behind that one. Well, the problem is it's so much as getting fired as it was gonna get fired or I could step down. So I like to say I got fired because they weren't gonna give me the choice of anything else, which is pretty much true. I mean, they gave me the choice of getting fired and being or stepping down. So if I didn't step down, they were going to fire me. So either way, I still got fired. However, it wasn't entirely all being fired. It was bad. I mean, manager's cool. He actually went in there to pick up stuff. And the guy was pretty cool, man. I mean, I mean he was pretty cool. He decided, you know, I was talking to him in there. He asked me how I was doing for getting a job. And I told him shit for, you know, shit for dicks for getting jobs. And he, uh, quite frankly asked me to come back and 
bring my resume. And I said, you fired me. I can't get a job here. He goes, no. I said, but I'd like to take a look at your resume, see if I can help you with it. So I didn't go back yet because that was only a while ago. I got to go back and help me. He said, he called me up. Basically, he said the schedule is what he did. He wanted to help me look for my resume. He, he didn't want to. The only reason I lost, I had to step out away from the job because I couldn't handle half the job. The customer service stuff and everything was pretty uh pretty easy i mean i'm you can tell i like to yap and talk to people so i can talk my way through customer service no matter what the problem was the computer skills were well i'd say lacking but uh, lacking is the difference between lacking and not having and uh my sure as hell was more towards the latter than the further for that so i wasn't able to math and i wasn't able to computer therefore i couldn't do half the job therefore I had to leave because they don't give me half a paycheck. Now, there's a chance, as he hinted in there when I was talking to him, that after probationary period is over of me being relieved, uh, voluntarily relieving myself of duty from the location, that uh, they are always looking for cashiers and such of people. So I was advised that maybe in a couple of months I may want to reapply or stop back in to see if there was anything else I could do for uh, uh, employment in there if I was still looking for employment, which was uh, pretty damn cool, uh, considering, you know, he's a manager of a place that he, he, he didn't make anything personal out of it, and he wanted to help. I mean, like I said, I've been in there twice, and he asked me about stuff, helped me gear my resume once, to some questions, uh, we do stuff that we've done modernly to get, I actually got a couple of interviews out of it, but they didn't go very far. That's a different reason though. That's something else I had to deal with. Uh, and they didn't get very far, but that's a reason behind that. Cause he's, he's a very old school. Like I am like, he doesn't like, <laughs> he doesn't like, he, he had a hard time himself finding jobs on through computer stuff. He's like, you go walking. He says, you get hired when you talk to people, don't you? And I said, well, that's pretty much the way it is. Yeah, I'm like, I've never got a job. I've never been on an interview that I didn't get hired on the spot. Every job I've ever had, I've had an interview and then gotten hired on the spot because I can talk and be personable. And I'm good at that. When you look at me on paper, I don't do paper well. And I don't do anything else well. But I'm good at talking the bullshit game. So I can get myself in there and... That's the way he is, apparently. Uh, he didn't make it personal. He didn't really want to let me go. And I knew uh, God, I would have liked working with the guy because at the end of the uh, <laughs> at the end of the day, they have to walk you out of the building. And I said, dude, it's like 10 feet. Do you really have to follow me? He's like, it's company policy. I'm like, well, everybody's going to know I got fired. He's like, well, nobody knows yet. And I'm like, you walk out with me out that door. And I got my bag and my shirt on. He said, people are going to know I got fired because that's what's happened. If not, it's going to start that rumor mill real quick and two and two together. It's going to add up fast. And he's like, I'll tell you what. He's like, I can see that door from here. He's like, go grab your bag and just walk out that door. So I'll give you the courtesy for that. I said, really? He goes, yeah. He goes, no reason to embarrass anybody. He said, no reason to embarrass anybody at all over any reason. And I'm like, damn, I really could have liked working for you. <laughs> it's kind of a shame. Decent enough guy. Yeah, I made a three-hour stream of working on one miserable project. The boss one shouldn't take this long. This one's going to let me distract him. Ah, this is where shit goes wrong. So you got to line this up, and when you dry this shit, it curls. There's nothing you can do about that. Well, I'm pretty sure there's something you can do about it, but there's nothing I know what to do with it. So, the trick is to get this kind of stretched over like a skin on here, and then you're going to have to go back and clean it up anyways. I didn't quite get that bullseye right. It's a little off from what I want. Sheep. A little off in a bad way from what I want. That's why last time I didn't cut it out the way it was on there. I forgot I didn't do that. So now I gotta go back and try to 
trim this stuff to make a better product out of it. See, I got edges here. I got edges there. And that's where the scissors come in handy. Which are upstairs. And I'll probably end up trimming it up there instead. Because I can see what I'm doing. I'm not going to really make the attempt to do that with scissors down. With a razor down here. Because I'll screw it up. And that's just an that's just inevitability waiting to happen. Mr. Anderson. So we'll put the edge back on this one. We're just gonna go right underneath it instead. Just go right underneath it and screw it. The razor is also a nice acceptable way to do this. Because you get a good line on it. Plus, when you squish it down, it gives it a little bit of a look. So you can kind of see where it was sitting, like a shoe print, which helps. When you glue the glue to this. Don't be afraid to use liberal amounts. Because this will soak this up so bad. First time I made one of these, the damn thing started falling apart. I wanted to be all sparing with the glue. It's a bad idea. I think I said that already. I don't know what I said. Just the talking and the yapping. Yapping and the going and the blabbing. Talking about pudding pops. Oh, don't put this in there. That's a dumb idea. Almost dropped the damn glue thing in there like it was a stick. You're perfectly fine in there. No, it won't. That's getting hot. Be surprised. Hair dryer makes things hot. News at 11. Okay. Get this. Can I? No. Yeah, push on that side, dumbass. <laughs> Wave goodbye, thumb. <laughs> oh, boy, that hurt. That would hurt. That would hurt. That would hurt. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Razors have a sharp side, and they also have a dull side. Apparently, Clowny only has partially a sharp side. <laughs> Clowns don't have sharp sides. Clowns have sharp brain cells. Unfortunately, they're not connected to the ones in their fingers, apparently. Okay. There's one. I finally get some Velcro. Which I really don't want to buy. I thought I had some little Velcro, but I don't. I'm going to have to go buy decent size of Velcro. This is not a project I wanted to buy stuff for. This is meant to be a project to use stuff for. It's slowly turning into projects that I do stuff for. Unfortunately, because nobody buys them, it's kind of a stupid project to do stuff for and buy stuff for. <laughs> I can't say that probably a high demand for freaking... Uh, what is the worst you have cut yourself off camera? Uh, nerf related? Give it a second for that. Nerf related? That yeah, well, actually gives us some pretty good height. Just glue over toe on this. Nerf related, okay, well, mm, sliced my hand up with a razor a couple times more than anything else. I think the worst cut slash nerf injury I got was, uh, 
I had the Dremel conical speed cutter, pokey speed cutter on the uh, on the thing. I don't think I have it over here. So what you gotta do? There's that little bastard. This guy. Drill bit speed cutter. And I was fumbling my Dremel tool trying to get it and it got caught in the cord and it jumped and just literally just went wham and drilled itself right into my damn leg. Didn't even stop to say howdy. It just went in there like oh wow. I mean that hurt. It's it sunk itself all the way freaking down. Make hook the loop connection tape from scratch. Bikini waxers make hook. Oh god, that doesn't sound very pleasant. <laughs> it's funny though. Yeah, I literally dropped that sucker right into the top of my thigh, and you no, know, instead of doing the smart thing like you know trying to take it out, I panicked and tried to turn it off. <laughs> First pulling at the cord. And I couldn't get it out of my leg quick enough. Now, granted, this was only like a couple of seconds, but it feels like a damned eternity trying to get this stupid thing out of my leg. <laughs> because, you know, I've already done the dumb at this point now. So I'm pretty much boned. <laughs> it was probably the dumbest uh, horrid injury I think I've gotten from doing Nerf, doing such thing like that. I think that's what that one, probably the worst one was, was that guy right there. That drill right into my damn leg. I was in there, oh, for a couple of seconds. I'd probably have to say about five or six seconds. It felt like a damn eternity. That was not pleasant by any means whatsoever. Uh, I was just thinking, that's going to get a Velcro on the back of it, so I don't got to really worry about trimming that up too much just getting these bird edges off of here and my scissors come in play but if i get the angle with the razor without sliding it through my fingers it should be good okay well oh, nope nope under the fingernail thank you so much Chinese torture. Okay. Fire, 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 fire. Yeah, let's see. It curls away. And then you can get at it some more. You can find my EAB. It's a knife that you just use these things in. The one keeps popping up on my uh, thing, uh, my my Instagram feed, and I, ouch, pointy, picking the finger out. I decided to uh, look for it. Fella bought one. There's a fella's a knife guy. He bought one on Instagram. It's a slide out little knife. I just haven't checked the price. I'll probably more than I want to pay. When I had old hair, I got a, my hair caught in the Air vents of a Dremel. I ain't done that. Uh, that's a good one. Uh, got my beard caught in a hair dryer once at work. That was fun. Trying to jumble the paint can, the hair dryer, and the paint stuff, the wet paint swatch in my fingers, and, and put the hair dryer under my chin without thinking about it, and just suck my hair right up in the damn thing. My beard right up in it got stuck and I walked down to the bathroom, which is uh, essentially halfway across the store past two very busy departments, toys and electronics. Don't know how I didn't get spotted. <laughs> did get a weird look when I came walking out of the bathroom with a hair dryer, though. Nobody understood why. And I never, never didn't tell too many people at work about that. <laughs> What's the worst injury you ever had at work? And then we tell them, I got my hair caught, in, got my beard caught in a hair dryer, and everyone just turns and looks. First spot for half the size of a dime for a good while. Uh, see, I'm dreading something like that. I got a, uh, I got a, like a, I don't know what the hell it is, like an acorn growing in the back of my damn head, like a ball of fleshy skin that's all lumpy, like a, 
tumor or something. It's, it's a, like a not a not a ball skin or something. It's just like it's, it's a hard spot, like a mole that just turned out big. I don't know what it is. It's not poisonous or anything. They've already poked and prodded it. However, I uh, I want it going because it's going to be in a spot when I go bald. It's going to be showing. And to do that, uh, every time I've gone to the doctor and they said they're going to take it out, and it's only like this big. And they want to take it a spot on my head like that. And I'm like, you don't need to take a freaking dollar size hunk out of my head to take the top of the fingernail off. And he said, well, that's the way it's going to have to be. And I said, well, I'll just get a damn extruder and pop it out myself with biopsy tubes. <laughs> biopsy punch. Biopsy punch. That's what they are. Damn, things are awful. It's just got a hole cutter for your face, a hole cutter for your skin. Okay, well, glue. A little bit of cleanup to do. But I'm going to call that this. And this is that, and that is it, which is done. And I do believe so am I, because now it is after four, and I am hungry. And because I am fat, I do not wish to do both. Only one can be fixed quickly. And guess which one's going to get worked on? <laughs> I'm going to slide that in there, too, because I'm sick of digging for those. i got to keep digging one up every time I go to do this, so... I want to yank hard on the Dremel. My hair was sick. Yeah, see, I don't have good... I don't have good thick hair. Mine's all whiskey and shitty. Which sucks. I like to have nice, thick, luxurious hair. But I don't got nice, thick, luxurious hair. I got thin, crappy hair. Not thin, crappy. Damn it, suck a monkey. Ah. Get in there. All right, we're calling this done for the evening. And that's what I'm going to call my stream done for the evening, too. So, y'all think, y'all, nice. God damn, I guess I'm tired. I'm tired. I get tired. My, uh, my slack jaw starts coming out. I, I ends up with me being accused sometimes of being from, uh, I think I thought I was from his hometown in Alabama. I start getting tired and then my brain doesn't work right and I start talking like a southerner for some stupid reason. All my dumb slack jaw comes out. Not that not that it's meant to be the way it sounds, just I start talking like that and I don't know why. It's a weird thing that happens. I also start picking up people's accents too. So I've been called into the office on more than one occasion when I had some foreigner or natural you know, God, you know what the hell I mean. I had some guy with an accent talking to me and all of a sudden I start talking back and they think I'm making fun of them. I try to explain that I'm not. I'm just tired. My brain's doing what it wants to do in a very insulting, unnatural fashion. <sighs> Happened enough that they stopped digging. I should have moved that up there. Oh, you dumbass. Look at that. That looks that looks much better like that. I was sitting down here. I should have glued that up there and left that sit up there like that. Next one I do, I'm going to have to remember to put that up there like that. And give it that much space like that and make the patch. Holy shit. One, two, three, four, five. I think about five inches high. A little one, two, three, four, five. Go five by five. That is a big. I make the thing six inches. That's a big damn patch. <sighs> okay. All right, guys. I'm gonna go feed the belly. Ah, burp. It tastes like whiskey. I did whiskey since last night. Oh, definitely tastes like whiskey. Thank you for being with me, hanging out with this stuff, and keeping me from actually doing some damn work today. <laughs> Much enjoyable. Uh, I don't know how to check who's left in the thing here, so I'm just going to say thank you, Pirate, for being in here. Anybody else left is a clock out. Uh, peace, love, nerf, clowny's watching, buy my shit uh, from Containment Crew, and uh, oh, God, what else? Check out my Patreon. Uh, because uh, my Patreon is uh, not benefit me. It benefits everybody else from me doing charity stuff and things like that. So peace out, guys. I got to work on a new outro for the stuff like that now, too. Bummer. Oh, well. Mr. White, good night. California.